the Desert Orchid Handicap Chase is next. We've got a field of eight for this one. It's over the, well, the strange distance of three mile and three furlongs. We'll get too many three mile three furlong races. It's a 0 to 120. And at the top, we've got Alexandra Cornwall for Padre Go. Going to win it last time. Rebecca Sledmere, David Robertson, Long Beach, David Hooley, Orchards Town Lady, Matt Cooper, One Trap Mind, Leon Van Rensburg, Silent Voices for Grand Clitterbuck was a winner two races ago. Velvet Curtain for Martin was a Group 1 winner over hurdles last season. Um, Basil Brush for Matt Cooper. And call in and away. And Velvet Curtain. He likes to lead, has gone on into the lead, but Basil Brush also likes to lead. And we've seen Basil Brush they disputing the lead quite a few times already this season. As we get over the first one, well, three times already this season, because this is race four, so we couldn't have seen it any more times than that, could we? But anyway, it's Velvet Curtain has got the lead, leading by three to Basil Brush in second. And Alexander Cornwall is third, Rebecca Sledmere closest to us is fourth. As they get to the second. They all get over okay, although Orchard's Town Lady was on tidy on landing and is now three lengths adrift at the back. The only grey in the field would be an apt winner of the Desert Orchid Chase, but jumped that one very slowly and is not proving to be very Desert Orchid like in its jumping at this point. It's Velvet Curtain. Skips over the fourth with a good lead. Basil Brush being driven along a little bit there to try and keep contact with the leader, they don't want to get too far away as they get past the winning post with a couple of circuits ahead of them it's not a Joshua Sutherland horse Velvet Curtain so the jockeys don't need to worry quite as much as normal but Velvet Curtain is in the lead as they get over the fifth well, Basil Brush second and then Rebecca Sledmere in third Alexandra Cornwall is back in fourth Long Beach, Silent Voices, One Trap Mind, and Aldridge Town Lady at the back as they all get over the water without any problem at all. So we all know who Basil Brush is. And the question for the forum now is who's Rebecca Sledmere as they get over the seventh? And also over the that. And who's Alexandra Cornwall? I suppose I'm probably showing my ignorance about something by not knowing. And they get over this ditch. Truth of the matter is, I don't. Anyway, it's Velvet Curtain in the lead. On well, Basil Brush in second. And Alexandra Cornwall third. Rebecca Sledmere back in fourth. As they get over the next, and they are really strung out in this. The leader, Velvet Curtain, is clear on the camera is having problems keeping them in shot. As they get over this ditch, we'll see them all over it. And they're all safely over it. They are well strung out. The one thing I would point out is that Velvet Curtain is a three mile up, and this is three mile three, so we're pushing Velvet Curtain's stamina to stay in the lead. So, most of the others don't necessarily know that. It's Velvet Curtain in the lead. Puzzle Brush is second. There's a gap of five or six then to Alexandra Cornwall in third. And another couple back to Rebecca Sledmere, and another couple back to a one trap mind. And then finally, Silent Voices and Long Beach together with Orchard's Town Lady somewhere adrift. Uh, nearly went again there, I'm thinking before too long. The poor old cameraman will just have to accept defeat and stop showing Orchard's Town Lady. She's going to be so far away, we'll end up missing something important at the top end of the races. They get over this next one, see what happens this time. Yep, directorial control has dictated to the cameraman to leave the last one behind and it's Velvet Curtain over that one in the lead and they're all safely over that one I assume that Ultra Town Lady's going to get over it okay mile and a half still to go and Velvet Curtain and Basil Brush are 8 to 10 lengths clear of Alexandra Cornwall as they get over the 14th which they all get over nicely we've seen in the past how quickly horses can stop so a circuit still to go and an eight length lead is nothing, especially when one of those horses lurking in the pack is a Leon van Rensburg that's nowhere near top weight. And it's Basil Brush on the outside of Velvet Curtain on the inside. Basil Brush might have just got into a lead now. Long Beach made a mistake there. Ultra Stan Lady is still plugging on out of shot as they get to the water again. A little stream over the water. Has 
Basil Brush. Just pulling wide there, Basil. Oh, he's gone. I don't know what happened there. Basil Brush started to sort of drift to his left and then exited the jockey. So I don't know whether it was something wrong with a tackle or something, but it's left Velvet Curtain clear of one track minor who's about seven lengths down in second. Then Silent Voices is third. Then Rebecca Sledmere and Alexandra Cornwall. Then Long Beach and Orchard's Town Lady some way adrift. Uh, Velvet Curtain over the 19th with a clear lead but the pack is definitely getting closer as they head down to the next Velvet Curtain over that ditch, good jump over out of four of them, Long Beach has gone so I see them starting to crash out of this and now Velvet Curtain is drawn by One Trap Mind and Silent Voices and this is where Velvet Curtain will come under pressure because she probably won't have the stamina to kick back on again over 3-3 three, three. and it's one trap mind who's gone into the lead and quickly stepped up the pace and has gone two to three clear of silent voices in second velvet curtain is sticking on in third big gap to alexandra Corman and rebecca sledmere who are continuing all to stand there he only needs one more to fall over to get in the money but it's one trap mind who's clearing the lead and he's looking all over the winner at the moment with just three to take and one trap mind Five or six clear of Silent Voices in second. Velvet Court and toiling back in third. And the rest of them had a shot as they head towards the final two. One track mind in front. Silent Voices trying to close. They come down to it and over it they go. Just one to take now. And one track mind in the lead. But here comes Silent Voices on the outside looking pretty strong as they come towards this final fence and Silent Voices has gone into the lead over the final fence they go Silent Voices closes to us is in front One Track Mind has gone roughly left and Silent Voices is going to take this one for Brian Brutzenbach up towards the line Silent Voices is the winner One Track Mind is going to be second Velvet Curtain stuck on Gamely for third then Rebecca Sledmere Alexander Cornwall and finally Orchard's Town Lady who did get red in her own time and A win for Graham Clutterbuck as the battle to be the numerical fifth best trainer starts to get interesting and Leon starts to drop away a little bit from Josh missing his chances there a race without Josh in it and Josh will be cheering that Graham Clutterbuck winner on with anything other than a silent voice so silent voice is taking it for Graham Clutterbuck one track mind Leon Van Rensburg second Velvet Curtain was third for Martin Leedham fourth was Rebecca Sledmere for David Robertson and fifth was Alexandra Cornwall for Padraig Hogan.